Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. The second edition. Make sure you have the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll pick up from where we have left off long time ago, the very last lesson that we had, day number 374, was almost three years ago. I've been meaning to finish this project for the longest time. The last video I made was day number 374, which was on October 1st of 2013. And today as I speak, it happens to be the July 4th of 2016. And I'm going to, I'm going to pick up from where we left off, day number 374. Today is our day number, lesson number 375. And we're going to pick up from data analysis that you see on page number 263. The very last problem that we did was the geometry problem that you see on the opposite page on page number 262, problem number 14 dealing with the rectangular box. So pick up, let's pick up from data analysis and the idea is to go through every single page, page by page, doing every single problem until we reach the exercises and then, we finish, then we'll finish up the exercises. The very first problem that we see there is the example 4.1.1 on page 263. First, let me let me copy down the data that is given to us and then we'll see what we can do. So we have 13433 1, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 0, 1, 2, 4, 2, 0, 1, 2, 4, 2, see it doesn't take that long, 4, 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 3, and finally we have 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, that's, that's simple, very straightforward. Our job now is to create a frequency chart, a frequency chart, and when we talk about frequency, Uh, these, these data that is shown here in, in the problem, it tells us these, these are number of children. A survey was done, a survey was taken to find out the number of children in the 25 households. In our village there are 25 households, there are 25 families in our neighborhood and we did a survey asking every, every household how many kids do they have, how many children do they have and this was the result. And now we want to do the frequency chart. So here is the number of children. which of course is going to go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and where you start depends on the highest number that you see here. Highest number I see is 5. So 5 is where we're going to start and here are the frequencies. How frequently, how frequently something appears, how often something appears. So let's get going and you'll see it is not that complicated as we said. So the idea is to pay attention, close attention so, so that we don't muck it up. 1, Zero one two four two zero one two four two four two three one three four 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 two three one three four two three one three and finally one zero two two one one or other one zero Two, two, one. That's it, we're done. There's your frequency frequency distribution. Now we have to find out the relative frequency. Now we have to figure out the relative frequency. So I'm going to abbreviate the frequency as, as is usually done. The frequency is usually abbreviated as FREQ. That's what I just did here. FREQ. That's your frequency. Now let's do the relative frequency. Now when we talk about relative frequency, let's talk about it for a second. How is, how, what's the difference between frequency and relative frequency? Frequency simply tells us 
how many times something happens. How many times something happens. The relative frequency tells us how often it is, how common it is, compared to the total number of observations. One more time. Relative frequency is going to tell us, let's put it, let's put it here on the side. Relative frequency tells us how common some occurrence, how common some occurrence is compared to, or as you like, relative to, compared to, or relative to the total number of observations. How common it is, how frequent it is, how frequent it is, how common it is compared to what? Compared to, relative to, the total number of observations. So simply saying that it happened three times is not enough. We have to say now three out of how many times? So this idea can be expressed as, this idea, this information can be expressed as, can be expressed as percentages or fractions or decimals. For example, so the question here is how 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 common is it? How how frequently does it appear? We can say it appears as a percentage, we can say it appears 4% of the time, or we can say it appears 4 out of every, every 100 observations, or we can express this in decimal like this. And all of these three are completely acceptable way, equally acceptable way of expressing the idea of relative frequencies. Do you understand? Here we can express that as percentages. Here you can express this as percentages. But in order to figure out the percentage, for example, this guy, there, is, there, are, there are three families who have no children. Well, well, three families who have no children, but three out of how many families? Well, we know that it tells us that we have 25 families. Five, 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 there are 25 families, which makes our math very simple, because 25 families, three out of 25, three out of 25, the relative frequency here is three out of 25, but three out of 25, if you were to multiply top and bottom by four, if you were to multiply top and bottom by four, we'll end up with 12 out of 100. 12 out of 100, because percentage, percent means out of 100. So all we have to do is take off a frequency, multiply it by four, and instead of out of 25, we'll have out of 100. So here we have three, which translates to 12% which translates to 12%. And that's it, we are done. This is going to be 12%. This is here, we have five. Five times, five times four is going to be 20%. There we have seven. Seven times four is going to be 28%. 28%, I want to make sure that the digits line up because we're going to have to add at the end. Six times four is 24%. And 3 times 4 is 12 percent, and finally 4 percent. In other words, we'll say that 4 percent of families in our village have five children. And if we add these all up, and as long as our math is correct, this should add up to 100, obviously. Why wouldn't it? 2 plus 8 is 10, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so it's 20. 0, carry 2, carry 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. There you go. 100%. And there is your relative, relative frequency chart. There is your relative frequency chart. In the next video, we'll do the next problem, which has to do with bar graph. I don't want to make a very long video. We're going to do one topic at a time. We'll do the bar graph that you see on 4.1.2 on page 265. We'll do that in the next video, okay? Bye now.